Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before entering new vendors into your company file, ensure you have the vendor default set the way you want to prevent entering repetitive data values for each new vendor record. To set the default values for new vendor records, select Maintain, Default Information, Vendors from the menu bar. The Vendor Defaults window stores information that is common to most of your vendors and purchase transactions. These default settings are applied to each new vendor record you create. Therefore, set these values to the most common settings for new vendors. You can always change the default settings on a per-vendor basis when you create the vendor records if needed. In the Vendor Defaults window, click the Payment Terms tab to create the standard terms for payment applied to the majority of invoices you receive from vendors. In the Standard Terms section, enter the most common terms received from the majority of your vendors by selecting an Option button and then entering the most common values into the fields within this section. To set the default accounts for expenses and vendor discounts, select the desired choices from the Expense Account and Discount GL Account dropdowns in the GL Link Accounts section. To set the default aging brackets for vendor bills, click the Account Aging tab. To set the default date used to age bills, select an option button in the Age Invoices By section, then enter the default aging brackets for payables and the column headings for each one into the Aging Categories section. To create custom fields for vendor records, click the Custom Fields tab. Enter up to five custom fields by typing names for the fields into the Field Labels boxes and then checking the adjacent Enabled checkbox. To set up to 20 default payment methods you use for bills, click the Pay Methods tab. Then enter the names of the payment methods from most to least frequently used into the Payment Method column. To set how payments to 1099 vendors are recorded for reporting, click the 1099 Settings tab. If needed, select the desired calculation choice from the 1099 Settings column for each general ledger account used. When finished setting your vendor defaults, Click the OK button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.